Here is the replacement uh, white sturgeon for the one-eyed one from uh, JPL Enterprises from eBay. Let's see what, what it looks like inside. He's alive and looks nice. Not as agitated as the pair that came before. I'm going to take him out of the bag and also we're going to use Amalog no matter what, just in case to, de to detox some any ammonia <coughs> that the fish generated in transport. I think it's just lively enough, not agitated, but again, we'll see when we take her out. The fish is breathing a little heavy, but it's not moving erratically around like the pre prior batch, so I added amalok as I said, so that's just in case, but the fish looks calm. Uh, the water is cold. It's about uh, 72 Fahrenheit. Our water is 80 Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna have to take it a little slower to acclimate the temperature. And the pH looks like about 6.46-ish. On the, on the left and on the right is our pH. Looks about 7, 7.2. So again, pH is by about one unit different and the temperature is 8 Fahrenheit different. So we're gonna take a little longer and more careful, slower, and uh, acclimate the fish more carefully. I'm trying to measure it. Tip to tip, 14 inches as advertised. Thank you, John. Advertised 12 to 14 inches. The temperature is equalized, about 80. The pH is 6.8. 6.8 or 7. I took a long time, over an hour or so, to acclimate the fish. So we're ready to go into the tank. It started breathing heavier and heavier later in the acclimation, but not swimming radically, so I think we'll do fine once it goes in the tank and comes down. Here's a new guy, a little pale. At the same time, I thought I'd update you on the two original guys. They came, they came exactly one week ago, on a Tuesday. And the bigger one, the one that was doing more poorly, now is doing much better than the smaller one. The one-eyed one. They haven't eaten still yet and uh, as I have mentioned before they came from a round tank and sturgeon are don't like corners and they take a change in, in tank setup a little hard. So they haven't eaten yet and uh, they've been learning the ropes of the new tank and as I said this bigger one is doing better, beginning to swing, swim laps around the tank. But the smaller one looked like it was doing the same thing, but 
the smaller one, the one-eyed one, is the one that, was, that has been trying to get out of the water by sticking its head and trying to swim vertically out of the water. And today he's got positive buoyancy, and I don't know what this is about. See how he's bobbing to the surface. And there's a little bump behind the pectoral fins. A little bump in the tummy, so it looks like there is some air there and I don't know if this is a consequence of disease after the huge stress it has gone has, has undergone in, in shipping one week ago or whether he grabbed some food I thought I noticed he grabbed he wanted, he wanted to grab some food or he grabbed some food pellets and fish and he got bloated and uh, that's the second hypothesis and the third one the fish over over inflated its swimming bladder trying to get out of the tank and staying at the surface and now he's for some reason he cannot deflate it or he doesn't want to deflate it so he keeps see he keeps rising to the surface like that and mostly he's spending right now right now spending time in the surface see how he's trying to to jump out of the water I hope we just caught it. That's not because the water is bad, that's because he's hating his tank. The physical print of it. He wants to be able to swim in a round tank forever, you know, swim in a circle in one direction over and over and over for forever. That's what I believe it wants to do. And that's the cause of the discomfort and and this uh, unreasonable behavior but again only this one the smaller one the, the bigger one looks much better and the new guy breathing real heavy hopefully will adjust soon I've been talking to vendor about it and uh, we both thought that to give him some time to adjust and we both thought that they should adjust to the rectangular tank with different flow but the behavior of the one-eyed guy is really, is really starting to bother me I don't want to lose him and I don't even know if it's not too late because he's been at the surface pretty much for, for an hour or hour and a half I was acclimating this new guy he was 95% at the surface only now he came down So the thought is, uh, I don't know if, sh if, I give, if, sh if I should give him more time, another week, another several days, another day. And if there is no, they don't feed and no improvement in the behavior, I'm going to have to set up a round enclosure for them, a little pond, or a round tub, or a soft, uh, soft wall above ground, little pond, pool and see if I can make him comfortable in there. It'd be a hassle, I mean I have I don't have readily a good space for a round pond to just plop it somewhere. We have visitors and you know pipes and the pond they'll, they'll be in the way. But it's probably needed. It might come to it that it's needed again because the one-eyed smaller sturgeon is really stressing me out by such behavior but now he's able to keep to the bottom which is a, which is a, I'm glad to see and I saw some bubbles coming out of his mouth so maybe he was able to deflate deflate the swimming bladder that he overinflated the bump behind the pectoral fins looks smaller. Yeah, I think we just got lucky and, and saw, well, not entirely gone, but it, it, it's reduced in size. I think we got lucky and he just purged some air out of its 
stomach or out of its swimming bladder that was keeping them positively buoyant. So we'll, we'll continue observing and report the new guys also concerning me because initially in the acclimation it was doing wonderfully. The breathing was calm and then towards the end it was faster and faster and faster and now it's, it's pretty labored breathing. But relatively speaking he's doing heaps and heaps better than the, these two guys that came almost dead from the ammonia poisoning. So if the new guy acclimates all right and the one-eyed one stops floating at the surface, I do feel like giving them another week to see if we get any changes for the better. And we'll go from there. It's about eight hours later the evening of the first day. The newcomer is still breathing heavy, but it's slower than in the than before. What this tells me pretty much is that uh, the sturgeon, our water is significant, significantly more uh, warmer than the water the sturgeon came from, has come from, so uh, that's why he's breathing heavy because this water holds less oxygen, even with this 20 times turnover of highly oxygenate, oxygenated water. As for the other two, as you can see, no big change. This, the one-eyed smaller one is still spending most time on, at the surface, and the bigger one looks better. I don't know why the little piece of uh, fin is missing from the right pectoral fin. And there's a rip in the tail, a nip on the tail. Yeah, somebody is bothering them here too. So I'm going to have to figure out who's bothering them or just separate them out altogether. I don't like this at all. I thought nobody would bother them. because the tank mates are so much smaller. It's curious, who would, I don't think bass would do that. Maybe the lemon fin barb. Could be the knife. I don't think Arowana would have done that. Or the lungfish, when it gets cranky or they run into it. Those will be my guesses. But anyhow, since the little guy hates this tank so much, I'm going to have to consider, as I said before, Placing them in a oval tub that we have. I've been looking all day for uh, for a larger, like 12 feet by 4 feet trough that I can put here and hook it up to the sump to uh, on the six tank bank. So this area has been uh, idling and could be taken up by a tank or by a by a pond, but I couldn't find anything readily. If you have any ideas, I would appreciate that. 12 foot long by 4 foot wide. It's got to be oval. It has to be oval in shape because sturgeon don't do well with the corners and it stresses them.
Okay, so such is our update. Hopefully the new guy will will be okay tomorrow morning. And the small guy is still alive tomorrow morning. I don't like this hanging at the surface with the snout poking out of the water more often than not. Swimming in circles on the bottom, that's what they want to do. See what he's doing? He's showing that he hates this tank. He wants to get out of here. Awkward swimming, clearly uncomfortable. 